Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm a psychic medium and healer. So I'm going to do a spread on the Divine Feminine in the July 25th, 2024. The first card I'm getting for Divine Feminine is Temperance. So I feel as though right now, the Divine Feminine is still in the middle of purging trauma related to past lives, as well as trauma related to her authentic self. As she ends up letting go of the false programming that kept her stuck in karmic timelines, the Divine Feminine is starting to um, integrate her into her authentic self. And the Divine Feminine is seeing that who she thought she was wasn't necessarily who she really was at a soul level. So all of these realizations are um, astounding to the Divine Feminine. I feel as though the Divine Feminine is um, contemplated today. She is thinking about these realizations and what they may entail. So I feel as though this is causing her to look at her twin flame situation a bit differently. Before she was um, seeing it through the lens of, um, 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 you know, reluctance or um, disdain. But now the Divine Feminine is starting to see that that's, um, that wasn't really her, but rather her um, programming that was being triggered. With the tower, I feel as though the Divine is kind of getting off her high horse at the moment. And she's really, really, um, like, she's really understanding that she was striving to, to preserve. It isn't the foundation that she wants to base her life upon. So she is tearing it down voluntarily. The Divine Feminine is saying, enough is enough. See, the Divine Feminine was struggling to hold on to a certain outdated paradigm that was no longer serving her. And she knew this. But she always excused it because she didn't want to let go. She was letting her feelings get in the way. And that was actually a recipe of disaster. So the Divine Feminine is being pushed to be objective. To actually um, resolve the situation through the inner masculine. And this is triggering the Divine Feminine who is um, struggling to remain objective. But I feel as though the Divine Feminine is pushing forward onwards. Because she knows at the soul level that change is about to happen. And the Divine Feminine is welcoming it in this change. With the Six of Swords, I feel as though the Divine Feminine is in the middle of dissecting karmic beliefs. She's in the middle of dissecting, um, uh, like, a lot of trauma, like, in general. Like, she's trying to figure out what makes her tick at this moment. And the Divine Feminine is pushing forward. I am seeing again that she is actually ushering in a period of great healing. And this healing has to do with her attachment style. So I feel as though the Divine Feminine wasn't exactly seeing these clearly. But yeah, I feel as though everything is starting to make sense little by level. And the Divine Feminine is being advised to trust in the process. And to not rush to any assumptions or um, any, um, yeah, just to trust in the flow of things. And that's what I get for Divine Feminine. So now I'm going to be doing... Um, Divine Masculine. The first card I'm getting for Divine Masculine is um, Eight of Swords. With the Eight of Swords, I feel as though Divine Masculine is struggling with self-limiting beliefs right now. He has a lot of self-limiting beliefs about the relationship um, slash connection with the Divine Feminine. He feels as though that he, he himself does not exactly adhere to the Divine Feminine standards. He's feeling all this um, pressure from the Divine Feminine to conform to some certain archetype. And the Divine Masculine feels really trapped. So he is actually in, being pushed to clear any and all blockages that prevent this connection from flowing naturally. From flowing from a place of love instead of restriction and fear. So the Divine Masculine is clearing past life trauma right now. I am seeing that he is purging extensively. And this is um, scaring the Divine Masculine who believes that he may actually be going crazy. And I feel as though the Divine Masculine, um, with the King of Deku sex, he is being advised to work on his father wound right now. Because there's a lot of self-reflection about um, how his masculine energy is so inconsistent. How it's um, feminized. And the Divine Masculine doesn't want to be that way anymore. So he's working through those blockages that prevent him from showing up for the Divine Feminine as he deserves. Because I feel as though the Divine Masculine senses that the trust has been broken. That, um... There, he's hanging on by a thread. And the Divine Masculine does not want to like repeat this cycle with the Divine Feminine. He wants to give her something substantial. So he's working through all those fears that prevent him from showing up authentically. And so the Divine Masculine is also clearing a lot of blockages 
related to his authentic self as well. As with the Ace of Swords, he's starting to see that his avoiding personality was causing him to sabotage the connection with the Divine Feminine. It caused him to sabotage the relationship with himself. And it's caused him to avoid having a deeper relationship to the Divine. And the Divine Masculine is realizing that he must make all of these things a central theme. And so the Divine Masculine is unlearning um, how to operate from the place of logic and to operate more from the place of the soul. And this is actually um, kind of um, surprising to the Divine Masculine as this was something that he wasn't exactly accustomed to coming um, at from. So there's just a lot of realizations. And I feel as if the Divine Masculine is like um, handling him with grace and he's going to kind of like, you know trust the process so he's letting go of control and trusting that the divine is leading the way and that's what i get for a divine masculine um if you want if you haven't already you can um like or this video you can even share it um i post twin flame videos like um almost daily so um yeah i will see you another time namaste